Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is What's Up with Stampin' Up, and even though this swallowtail background stamp is nothing new with Stampin' Up, I have not used it for a very, very long time. So I wanted to share this um, card with you. It is kind of a creative cut card, I'm going to call it. And so what I'm brought, bringing in is is a piece of very vanilla cardstock. I see that one was scored, um, and I'm not sure that I want that scored. This measures four inches by ten and a half, so I don't know why I had that scored, but we're going to bring this um, piece of cardstock in. Going to take my swallowtail using the Island Indigo ink. I'm going to ink that stamp up. And then what I want to do is kind of stamp it at an angle and off a little bit from my edge of my card. So I'm just left about a quarter of an inch. Want to make sure that I press really hard with that. Then I'm going to bring in my paper snips and I'm just going to trim around that butterfly. And before I completely trim around it, I want to take that card and score it because I want to know where the edge of my card should be. So again, going to bring those scissors in and just trim around. Love this butterfly, but sometimes it's big and you're not sure exactly what to do with it. So this just makes for a fun card, like so. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my crumb cake and the leaves from, I believe these leaves are from the Kinda Eclectic stamp set. I'm going to stamp full strength and then stamp off a couple of times so that I get lighter shades. and just making an interesting border along that card. Going to do it in the opening of that butterfly. So there you have it. Isn't that beautiful? Next I'm going to bring in a sponge and I'm going to sponge along the edges. Again, just to give some dimension to that card, some shadowing. Going to bring in a piece of the Island Indigo Blue. This measures our standard four and a quarter by five and a half. So just going to place that card on there like so. And then I'm going to bring in my dazzling details and just add some bling to that card. Dazzling details just adds that extra sparkle that we need so many times for our card. Surely changes the look. No random um, way to put it on however you want it to blend out. It also because it is water-based ink that we used, it will blend out your ink a little bit, your ink colors and so that kind of makes it fun also. So there you have it, a What's Up with Stampin' Up with a very creative um, cut to your card. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon.